Dr. David. And before we start, I just want to say a special word for Ken and Judy. Um, I so appreciate their transparency, their vulnerability, and what they shared with us. And I can just tell you that uh, uh, they are wonderful, wonderful people. And I would just, I don't know that I'd have had the courage to stand up here and do that, do what they did today. So thank you, Ken and Judy. I know you're out, you're out here somewhere. Yeah. As David mentioned, we have some family business to address today. Uh, to that end, I officially convene our previously announced uh, special congregational meeting. Its specific purpose is to vote on elder nominees. However, I just want to acknowledge to you that we know that there are other questions and issues which we need to discuss together as a congregation. We will be establishing forums to do this in the near future. So that's not the purpose of the meeting today, but we will give opportunity in the near future. I will also announce that a quorum is present, uh, so we, we uh, have, a, have a quorum. So for today, if you're an active member of MBC, you should have a ballot. You should have checked in and already have a ballot. And I would like to ask you to fill it out now, if you haven't already. We are voting on whether or not these three men on the ballot are biblically qualified to serve as elders at McLean Bible Church in our church family. Chuck Hollingsworth, Ken Tucker, and Jim Burris. All three of these men have been nominated by church members, examined and unanimously affirmed by a nominating committee made up of both elders and church members, and recommended unanimously by our current board of elders. If you believe they are biblically qualified to serve and shepherd our church, please mark your ballot, yes. Or if you believe they are not biblically qualified to serve and shepherd our church, then mark your ballot, no. For the purpose of voting, this congregational meeting will be open through the end of our 11 o'clock worship gathering, at which time it will be adjourned. So if you're an active member and you have not yet received your ballot, you can go to the lobby uh, at your location and get a ballot and submit it there. But for those who have a ballot now, we ask you to mark it and pass it to the aisles where we will be collecting them. Larry? You may, you may have seen in the e-news that describe the collection and counting process, but if not, it is this. Ballots from each location will be secured and handled the same way that we safeguard cash and checks and will be transported to Tyson's from our remote locations in special lock containers, the bank lock bags that we use for cash and checks. Opening the containers and counting will take place here at Tyson's under the observation of a qualified neutral third party from the law firm of Holland and Knight. The results will be announced via e-news as soon as possible, possibly tomorrow afternoon. For the next few minutes though, while we collect these ballots, our musical worship teams at our different locations are going to lead us in song. We ask you to stay seated until the ballots in your area have been collected. Again, when they're complete, we'll ask you to pass them to the right. Larry, point of order. This is a difficult thing for me to do, to stand up here. Just, just a minute, sir, just a minute. Well, I'm not accepting your point of order. We're, we're, we're conducting this meeting, sir. We're conducting the meeting the way it's been uh, the way it's been orchestrated. No. Everybody, we're just going to hold off for a second, and then I'm going to have you step out. We're not going to proceed until you're done. Thank you, Bill. How many of you know me? How many of you know who I am? This is a congregational meeting. We have shifted from praise and worship to a congregational meeting. We're going to ask you out. Escort you out. All right. So the question I've got is, what is the purpose of today's meeting? It's a special meeting. And the voices in Fairfax Will you please come on up? need to be heard. Please come on up, sir. Please My stop. point of order please is stop. very simple. Please 
Can we start the meeting with a reading of the minutes of the prior meeting of June 30th? Hey, everybody. I'm going to ask y'all to just take a step up for a second. And we're going to push you guys out this way. All right, I'm so, I so want to talk about adultery. You can. I want to talk about fornication. I want to talk about to financial chicanery right. that's going on here at the church. You guys on this side this, this is a congregational meeting where the congregation gets together and has the opportunity to speak amongst ourselves. Okay, we're just going to ask you to come out. We're going to have no, I come in here. I think, honestly, I think things should not be reduced right. to this particular okay, so. plan. Hello? Chairman, please, can you please let's call this thing off? For peace sake. back this to put it right after a praise and worship ceremony. I've done this before. It's unfair to the congregation. We should be doing this at a picnic. We should be doing this in the evening. But they chose to do it during the middle of a congregational service. Anticipated that as we're following our normal the protocols the here, we will reconvene at the time this is this is resolved. We will re we will reconvene at the time this is resolved. I'm gonna have to ask you if you guys can just clear this area out. Would you guys mind clearing out this area? This is a business meeting. Give him the mic. from the last meeting. Tell us what happened on June 30th. You couldn't even get a quorum for the March meeting. What does that say about the elders in the church? So we've got to admit the December minutes into so the June meeting, they should be read here now so we understand where we were and where we're going. So the church has decided that it wants to have an open ballot, your right to vote secretly after 60 years at McLean Bible Church are being taken away from you. Look at your ballot, it has your name on it. This is unfair. I'm gonna ask you guys to take a step back. I'm gonna ask you guys to take a step out. 
Thank you, Jim. you've already passed your ballot, I know some of you passed it in already, uh, please continue to do that, pass it into the right uh, of your aisle, and we will uh, we will do what we said we would do with, with the uh, ballot counting. And folks, you know, this is uh, just not the way we're supposed to do things in church. And you can- We agree. We agree, Larry. We agree on something, Larry. All right, as we wrap up our time together, uh, I'm going to ask uh, DJ to come out and just lead us in a song. Thank you. 